Okay, so what we have here is a cigarette burn. So unfortunately, I come across these every once in a while. I have a small fleet of cars that I rent out on Turo. For those of you that don't know what Turo is, Turo is a car sharing platform similar to Airbnb, except instead of renting out real estate, you're renting out your vehicle. One of my renters obviously smoked in the car and left this beautiful cigarette burn. I'll be using the Coso Nix fabric and repair kit. So this kit comes with nine different colors of fabric fibers. I guess that's what you call these fibers of fabric, all different colors. And it also comes with a color chart. If your specific color isn't in this kit, it gives you a color coding chart so you can mix the different colors that you have in order to get whatever color you need. So for instance, if you needed a peach color, it would tell you to mix red with beige. Beige is right here. You would mix red and beige to get a peach color. For this project, I'm just going to be using regular black. It comes with glue. This is the mixing ball and this rubber band. And it comes with extra backing fabric if you need this. And it comes with this mesh piece right here. And it comes with these little plastic pliers and a little plastic spatula. And this is the mixing jar to mix your fabric. And here's the instructions, so let's get started. The first step says to prepare the damaged area by trimming any jagged bits or burn marks. So I'm just going to use a small utility knife to cut the burned edges off. And I'm really trying to cut as carefully as possible. I don't want to cut into the good fabric. And this is what the burnt fabric looks like. And I just want to say that hindsight is 2020. If I had to do this all over again, I would have skipped this step and not cut the burnt pieces out. And I will show you why at the end of this video. Okay, it looks like all the burnt pieces are off. The next step is to choose your color and mix and match the right color for you. I'm just going to be using black. So I'm just going to add the fabric into the mixing jar. and then add the metal ball into the mixing jar and shake for about 30 seconds. Then I'll remove the metal ball and secure the mesh to the jar with a rubber band. Now I have to apply glue to the damaged area under and along the edges. Fill the damaged area as evenly as possible. Also apply a thin layer of glue around the damage to blend in the repair. Uh oh, that is way too much glue. And this is what it looks like. So I'll just be throwing it onto the side of the door. This burn is on the side of the door and it's kind of at an awkward angle. So I'm just going to throw the fibers onto the glue from the side like this.
You want to make sure you cover all of the glue completely and gently pack down the fibers with the spatula. Before I can vacuum this, I have to wait 24 hours for this to cure. Alrighty, it has now been 24 hours so I can get these fibers off. When you get really close, you can see that there is a little indentation here. I think it would have looked better without cutting the burnt pieces off because that just made the repair area that much bigger. By my fabric already being black, there really was no need for me to cut off the burnt pieces, which were also black. I think if I had done it that way, the repair would draw less attention. But if you have a different color fabric than black, you'll probably want to cut the burnt pieces off if the burnt pieces are black and maybe even use the backing fabric that comes in the kit. What do you guys think?